What assets go through probate? Well, there are a lot of assets that do and a lot of assets that don't. So assets that go through probate are those that are what we call directionless assets. What does that mean? Let me start with assets that don't go through the will, that are not probate assets. Think of a life insurance policy. If you have one, you probably put a beneficiary designation on that, and that says it pays on your death to someone. So that's not a probate asset. That pays outside of the will, outside of the probate to someone. Same thing with your IRA or your 401k. It likely has a beneficiary designation on it that says who it pays to, and it will pay outside of the probate, outside of the terms of the will. How about an investment account? Well, if the investment account only has your name on it and it doesn't have a pay on death, then it will go through the probate, uh, through the will and pay according to the terms of your will. But if instead you put on uh, a pay on death provision on an investment account or a bank account, then it will pay to whomever you've directed it should pay to. Another thing that often catches people by surprise is if they put a joint owner on the account, likely it is joint with right of survivorship and it will go to the joint owner on your death. Sometimes we see that maybe uh, mom has, uh, you know, three adult kids and she's heard, oh, avoid probate, you know, don't go through that process. It takes time and it costs money and indeed it does. So instead what she says is, I'll just put my one responsible child on the bank account with me uh, joint tenants with right of survivorship. And then when I die, then that one responsible child will divvy it up. There are a lot of problems with that. One of the problems will be that maybe the child decides not to divvy it up because they know they are mom's favorite and that will result in litigation. And if they do divvy it up as mom wanted, then they might have to use some of their tax, estate tax exclusion to make that gift from what is now their own asset, not mom's. So there are problems with that. Uh, it's not wise to try to do your own estate planning without the uh, guidance of an attorney. So probate assets typically will involve real estate unless they are in an LLC where the LLC says where the assets go or in a trust that says where the assets go, or jointly titled with somebody else with right of survivorship, or there's a transfer on death deed on the house. So coordinating all these assets and where they go and what is the right will or trust or transfer on death or avoiding probate, whether that's a good idea or a bad idea, that is a lot to take in. And watching videos and reading information is gonna be helpful for you to understand, but is not gonna substitute for the guidance of an estate planning and elder law attorney.